In this video, we will be connecting an outdoor rated remote head to a remote head capable emergency light. The tools and materials needed are wire strippers, low voltage wire, and wire connectors. Ensure that the remote head is compatible with the emergency light. Check the remote head voltage and the remote head capacity of the light. This can be determined by the battery voltage. Prepare the, your low voltage wire by stripping the wires using the wire stripping tool. Make sure to use a proper wire gauge slot. Always twist the wire. The remote head will have labeled wires, positive and negative. In some cases, the wires will be yellow and blue, or red and black. Wire your low voltage wire to the remote head. If needed, strip the wires from the remote head. Remember always to tug on the wire to ensure a complete and secure connection. The remote head capable emergency light will have two labeled wires for additional remote heads. Splice and twist both wires. Connect the battery to the circuit board. Locate the quick disconnect plate. Knock out one of the cutouts to feed the wires through. Once all necessary wires are through, snap the back plate in place. Wire the two remote heads to the correct low voltage wire of the remote head, negative with negative and positive with positive. Remember to tug on the wire to ensure a complete and secure connection. Once the emergency light is connected to power, the emergency light should power the remote head.